This is the feed control lever. The feed control lever enables you to start and stop the movement of the machine's components. The spindles will continue to rotate after the lever has been disengaged. Be sure the coolant is flowing before you engage the feed control lever. This is the hand crank mechanism. Its purpose is to allow you to manually move the screw machine through the entire machining cycle. It is used during setup and for checking individual operations. With the main motor running and the feed control engaged, you may turn the hand crank mechanism to move the cutting tools into or away from the bars of stock. Cams are used to control the cutting cycle of the cross slides. A roller passing over the cams moves the tools in and out of the work. The approach portion brings the tools quickly toward the rotating bars of stock. This is the low point. The tools are about to cut into the work. The feed portion causes the tools to cut the stock. At dwell or high point, the cutting is completed. The tools then draw back during the return portion of the cam. The rise of a cam is the vertical distance between low point and high point. This is the rapid approach portion of the cycle. This is the beginning of the feed portion or low point. As the tools start to cut, chips are produced. At the dwell, the tools are allowed to finish cutting before they are withdrawn, and then the cycle starts over again after index. You will be responsible for resetting of the positive stop tension on cross slides that produce the final dimensions of a part. The form tool and holder must be mounted to the cross slide. Be sure the tool holder is back far enough to ensure the tool will not cut. Back off the positive stop screw. Start the machine and stop it when it reaches high point. With the spindles turning and the feed disengaged, advance the tool into the work until you cut a part which is 10 to 15 thousandths of an inch under the required size of the part. Now turn in the positive stop screw until it contacts the compensating screw. Then increase the pressure slightly. Cut another part and check its size. Continue to increase the pressure slightly on the positive stop screw until you cut a part to the required dimension. Notice the difference between the machine surfaces on these two parts. The surface of the part on the top is smooth, while the part on the bottom is uneven and rough. Chatter causes the uneven, rough surface. Vibration is the primary cause of chatter. When this vibration occurs, the cutting tool is not able to maintain a constant and even pressure on the stock. This results in an uneven or rough surface on the finished parts. Knowing that vibration is the primary cause of chatter does not solve the problem. As an operator, you must be able to determine what causes this vibration. In this case, the cross slide hold down bolts need to be tightened. Once they were tightened, the chatter disappeared. The most common chatter problem is caused by the forming tools being positioned below the center line of the part. When the cutting tool is properly positioned, the cutting edge will be flush with the top of the centering gauge.
Dull cutting tools are also a cause of chatter. When a tool becomes dull, it will drag or bounce on the... You will now set the length of the thread you will be cutting. Set the back trip collar to a distance slightly less than the thread length required. This is necessary since there is a normal amount of play between the die head and the yoke. Because of this play, the yoke will not cause the die head to open at the instant the trip collar contacts the back of the spindle mounting bracket. You must start below the required thread depth and work up to the correct dimension. Once the correct dimension is reached, you can mount the return cam. Stop the machine immediately after the die head opens. You can now mount the thread return cam on the cam plate and position the cam to cause the threading spindle to clear the part before index. With the cam roller at the high point of the return cam, you can adjust the other trip collar. Slide the other trip collar back against the spindle mounting bracket. Start the machine and check the die head after index. It is better to set the trip collar so the die